Thailand and Cambodia have agreed to discuss joint exploration in a disputed energy-rich area in the Gulf of Thailand. Now, the contested region is estimated to contain 11 trillion cubic feet of natural gas and large oil deposits. And the decision comes as Cambodia's Prime Minister made his first official visit to Bangkok. CNA's Mei Wong with this report. Bilateral talks described as comprehensive and a sign of strength between countries and people. The Prime Ministers of Thailand and Cambodia made this assessment after a meeting here in Bangkok. Cambodia's Prime Minister Hun Mane is the first ASEAN leader to visit Thailand after Prime Minister Seta Tawisin was appointed Premier about six months ago. And Mr Hun Mane's one-day visit is not just all talk. In fact, many initiatives came out from the meeting between both Prime Ministers. One key agreement is to study the possibility of jointly exploring a maritime area in the Gulf of Thailand. Both countries have overlapping claims of an ocean area of 27,000 square metres rich in oil and gas. Talks have stalled since early 2000s, but now both are finding a new way forward to ensure energy security. As Thailand and Cambodia import huge amounts of natural fuel every year, we discuss and agree to strengthen our cooperation in the field of energy security. In this regard, we agree to discuss further on the joint exploration of the hydrocarbon resources in the overlapping claims area between the two countries. At the same time, we attach importance to the maritime delimitation and agree to discuss the issue simultaneously with our exploitation of the hydrocarbon resources. In this regard, I will instruct Minister of Foreign Affairs to consult with other authorities concerned, including the Minister of Energy and the Royal Thai Navy, on the issue for further discussion with Cambodian side. Other sectors that will see more cooperation include cross-border trade, addressing online scamming, tackling transboundary haze issues and boosting tourism. The signing of five memoranda of understanding will help to seal the joint commitments in some of these areas. Without directly mentioning the recent arrest of a few Cambodian activists in Thailand, which were heavily criticised by rights groups, both Prime Ministers say they'll not allow their nations to be used to interfere in each other's politics. And my presence here today reaffirms our commitment to strengthen the relationship between our two governments, which will yield the result of our uh, relationship that benefit our people and countries. And thanks for your reaffirming of uh, your support that not allowing uh, Thai territory to be used for any activities, for interference in Cambodian internal politics. The same thing here, Cambodia government is also give commitment of not allowing Cambodia source as a land or for conducting activities to interfere with Thailand or causing uh, issues in Thailand. This is for the mutual respect, mutual benefit of our countries to promote stability and trust and confidence and also for the strengthening of our future relationship together. Thailand and Cambodia will mark 75 years of diplomatic relations next year. And the talks today signify a new chapter in ties where both will seek to move past differences and disputes to one that's focused on mutual benefits going forward. May Wong, CNA, Bangkok.